moment looks like everyone is tuning in we got some new gifts coming in welcome everybody uh super excited for another edition of start stop reset we've got a whole uh set of volunteers i mean victims lined up here and dave will be joining us from cognizant side and in, in exchange for uh, sean sees this week with a new um a new uh voice in the mix so uh, everyone that's tuning in, feel free to chat where you're coming in from. Excited to see everybody here. There he is, the man, the myth, legend. We did it. I'm so sorry that I'm late. I uh, I had some technical issues. I'm right here in the middle of the office, so you guys have to tell me if it's super noisy on my end. But I'm hoping the Jabras will, will sort us out. Jabra's doing the trick so far, so I think we're in good shape. Good. Dave, welcome to the good. show. I don't know if you've had a chance to uh, see the previous two versions of this, but the idea is we're going to get right into action, running good. a little cold call uh, warm-up process that we like to use called Start, Stop, Reset. Have you seen what we do before, David? Would it be helpful? I haven't. I'm a, this is this is my first time. Um, I, I've, I've hosted, I've been on similar um, live cold calling uh, webinars with um, Morgan Ingram. Um, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm really super happy to be here. So thanks so much for, for having me, Ryan. Awesome. Well, I'll give you a little bit of context. And for those that are new to the, uh, version of this that we're doing is, um, I've got a framework. We're going to bring on some guests each time, Dave, and you and I can grill them a little bit, but what we're going to do is put them into a rapid fire, uh, scenario where we are helping them get through those stages of the conversation. I know you just came out of the workshop with me, so you can kind of see how I like to think about calling in the form of stages. And what we're doing here is, is giving people a, a workshop on how to actually prepare for call blitzes. So generally, these things would be ran with a team uh, before you go to live call, like we would have done on Wednesday last week. We could have had everybody in. We would do this just to get people warmed up and give them real live scenarios. Um, we're going to have them start their pitch. And then when I say, hello, this is Ryan, or when you're doing it, because you can grill them as well, hello, this is Dave, they're going to restart. So start, stop, reset. Uh, we're going to rapid fire through six, seven, eight, nine, try to kind of give them different real live examples, and then stop, give a little bit of feedback, and reset. And the goal is to really warm them up um, before they would go and get uh, on the phones. So we've had two different variations of this, I think six or so different guests so far. And I think we have at least four lined up for today. So 10, 15 minutes for each one. We'll leave it for some Q and A at the end. So you'll get, you'll get to see how this goes Dave, with the first volunteer. Do we have our first volunteer? Please raise their hand and let's get started. Here we are. Hi. I don't want to butcher your name. Is it Purs? It's a uh, Piers. Yeah. I know Piers. this guy. I've, I've seen this guy before. <laughs> oh, do we have a, do we have a, Internal cognizant, cognizant mind. Do you guys have a name for the internal team here? Is that, uh, is that what it is? The cog. We're part of the cog. <laughs> oh, part of the cog. All right. Cog, the cog, cog the knights. The cogs. Yeah. The, the whole work. The cogs. All right, Piers. Well, welcome to the show. Um, it's Thanks great to have you here. On. What we're going to do, as I mentioned before, is we're going to get right into start, stop, reset. I'm going to say, hello, this is Ryan. We're going to get into it. Every time I say, hey, this is Ryan, or hello, this is Ryan. You're going to just restart from the very beginning, rapid fire, give you some feedback, and then we'll go into another session. You ready for this? Very ready. Awesome. Before we get started, I'm sure those that know at least the context of Cognizant, we're all on the show, but give a little bit of context of who do you serve, how do you serve them, You know, uh, the actual persona that you typically engage so we can set some context for the conversation we're about to have, and then we'll jump right into some live action role play of course yeah so um obviously uh, as as most people here will know uh, cognizant um are predominantly a contact data provider um so uh we have um mobile numbers uh email addresses um that are uh, verified um and uh we hope uh very gdpr compliant and and um, accurate um, and we uh, usually uh, target sales directors uh, or sales teams, uh, particularly fast growing sales teams and those with um, such as myself, um, because SDRs obviously um, need constant uh, 
um, access the contact data in order to uh, reach so their sort of um, ICP and uh, and generate new business for the for the um, organization um, at which they work. Um, so yeah, it's mostly fast growing sales teams that we that we target, um, and we sell uh, predominantly contact data as well as uh, other sort of marketing functions and. Um, yeah, our, our platform, um, as those who use it will know, is very sophisticated. It has sales functionalities, marketing functionalities, um, intent data, but uh, with a focus on the contact data, I presume, for this call. <laughs> uh, amazing. All right. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to say, hey, this is Ryan. We'll get right into it. Full support. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Piers calling from Cognizant. Um, do you have uh, just half a minute so I can explain the reason for my call? Sure. What's up? Uh, basically, I'm getting in touch because I, I saw that um, you run a sales team um, at uh, Ryan Industries, and uh, I was I was hoping um, that uh, I could introduce my my company. Uh, we basically have uh, 400 million B2B contacts uh, in our database, and we enable sales teams to uh, reach more um, prospective clients to j help you generate new business. Is this something that uh, you might be interested in? Hey, this is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Piers calling from Cognizim. Uh, do you have 30 seconds so I can explain the reason for my call? Who is this? Uh, sorry, this is Piers calling from Cognizim. Have you heard of us before? Uh, no, what's up, man? How can I help? Um, basically, we're a uh, contact data provider. Um, so we have um, a yeah, very extensive... Yeah, you're going to you're gonna have, to, you're gonna have to send me some information. Okay, sure. Um, is there any particular information yeah. that you'd like me to send across to you? Just send it over, just send it over. Sure thing. <laughs> hey, this is Ryan. Guys, I don't, Hi, Ryan. Quick. I don't know if it's my internet. Is it really delayed? There's a little bit of delay on the call for me. Yeah, I'm seeing some delay on my side. One, one second, let me switch over. Uh, let me switch over because I'm, I'm not getting the same impact that I like here to get... <laughs> Yeah, can you let us know in the chat? Is it Ryan's side? It's any me better. And Piers, me and Piers are in the same office using the same internet, so I'm just, we're hoping it's Ryan's side. Yeah, okay, cool. It's Ryan, Thanks, it's guys. Ryan. Bit choppy. Okay, I just I just switched my uh, my network. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Let's go again. Hey, this is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Piers calling from Cognizim. Have you heard of Cognizim? Yes. Cognizant? Cognizum? Uh, no, we get what? we get confused with Cognizant all the time, but uh, it's Cognizant with an SM on the end. Uh, we're a con contact data provider. Okay. What's up? How can I help? I was hoping that you um, you might entertain the idea of me introducing my company. Uh, basically, we um, have GDPR compliant um, and accurate uh, global database of, of B2B contacts. Um, and ultimately, we enable sales teams to reach hey, more this of is ideal clients. Hi, Ryan. This is Piers calling from Cognizant. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing well. What's up? Um, basically, I'm sorry to call out of the blue. Um, I'm getting in touch because... Hey, this um, is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Piers calling from Cognizant. Have you got 30 seconds so I can explain the reason for my call? Uh, no, I got 15. What's up? Go. Uh, basically, I, I, I work for uh, Cognizant and Hi. we uh, run a sales intelligence platform hey. um, with, uh, with millions of B2B contacts in our database. Uh, we hey, this is Ryan. Specialize in... Hi, Ryan. How are you doing? All right, let's pause. Uh, start, stop, stop. How'd that feel? Uh, well, I'm quite new to, to, to this. I, I've never done a webinar before, so a little bit nervous. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a challenging exercise, I have to say. <laughs> Perfect. So the first thing that I'm hearing right now is every single time you're starting a call, it's different. Right, it's different. Okay. You've got, uh, you know, you're asking different permission-based openers. How am I doing? How are you? You know, there's all sorts of variations each time. What we'll want to yeah. do is try to pick one, pick one and use that consistently. Right. And so okay. uh, whatever you're going to be comfortable with, use whatever you feel comfortable with, but stick with that and run that through. And so what well, that will allow you to do is make sure that for that first gate of the conversation, which is the intro, um, are you even going to get past hello? Um, we know that if you're getting blocked there for some reason, it, it's not necessarily what you're saying. It might be, or sorry, it, it might be what you're saying, not anything else, right? If it's different every single time, then we don't know what might be causing us from not moving forward, 
Okay, so we want to try to establish a baseline around how are we getting into our conversation, right? If we can get past hello, then are we actually getting to what we call a completion? They heard what we have to say and we have an actionable next step. And then finally, you know, is that moving forward or not? Um, so let's try this again, rapid succession. This time, Dave, if you want to be the, hey, this is Dave, hey, this is Dave, hey, this is Dave, um, mm -hmm. try to get you past hello, but be consistent with the opener. And then once you okay. get past the opener, you can move into, or the permission-based opener, what do you want to call it? You can move it into the actual pitch section uh, of the body of your pitch, but consistency is key here. Dave, go ahead and give them a couple of rounds and then we'll uh, we'll move forward with the uh, little bit more feedback from this session, see how that goes, and we'll bring on the next victim, I mean, uh, guest uh, for the rounds. <laughs> yeah, sure, this is my first time, right? So remember, remember that. Um, hey, this is Dave. Hi, Dave, how are you doing today? Good. How can I help? Um, I'm sorry to call out the blue. I was basically um, just getting in touch because I saw that you're hiring a, a, a new team of SDRs. Um, and obviously, SDRs need uh, quite a significant amount of contact data in order in order to generate new business for the organization in which they work. Is this something sorry, you might be interested call. in? Yourself? Um, it's a it's a B2B sales call. Uh, yes. Is now okay, is now a good Dave. time? Hi, Dave. This is Piers calling from Cognizant. Um, do you have 30 seconds so I can explain the nature of my call? Sure, hit me. Uh, so basically, Dave, I saw uh, on LinkedIn that you're um, hiring SDRs, and, and obviously SDRs need co uh, accurate contact data in order to reach their um, ideal client persona. Um, so are you the right person to speak to about this? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, so do you uh, ever find that you've got your, SDR, um, your SDRs breathing down your neck, asking for better contact data? Hey, this is Dave. Hi, Dave. This is Piers calling from Cognizant. Um, do you have 30 seconds just so I can explain the nature of my call? Not really. Just running into a meeting. Okay, sure thing. Is there a time that would suit you better next week? Yeah, like maybe Thursday. I'll give you a buzz on, on Thursday then. All right, let's, hey, stop. let's stop here, Piers. Let's stop here, Piers. You're three for three different intros. Three for three different intros. So, yeah, so Remember, just we want to stick with one and, and hammer it in. We want to be consistent. We want to be consistent. Um, really good job today. I know it's throwing yourself in the in the bullpen here, but um, we're going to, because we have a lot of guests in the back end, we want to bring on the next person here. Um, great job coming in. I know you're uh, you're kind of pulled into the bull ring. Um, try <laughs> to find one today. Find one intro that you like. Try to be consistent and see what that does for you in terms of your confidence and the ability to get past some of these harder starts, right? Obviously we're throwing different variations at you and that's what's gonna happen in real life. But being consistent and being confident is gonna get you much further along than trying to change that up each time. Make sense? Yeah, of course, yeah. Do you think that it should be varied based on the sort of uh, response and tonality that you're getting from the prospect? Uh, so your intro itself should be consistent. Now, obviously okay. you wanna be able to adjust based on what you're hearing. Right. So if I'm yeah. a little bit short, you can make an adjustments from there. But the way you enter the call, try to be consistent with that intro. Right. OK, um, sure. You know, obviously, so you want to have the, that yeah. situational awareness so you can make adjustments, of course. But try to be consistent with exactly how you enter it and see what that does for your ability to get past hello um, in the different scenarios today. Sure. So either All stick right. with sort of 30, 30 seconds or um, or the call out of the blue. Or how you doing or calling out of the blue or whatever. Ch choose the one that you like and just try yeah. to be with that consistently and see what that does today versus just kind of switching it up each time. Um, Fair enough. My, my, my experience is that it's going to get you through to more completions by, by being consistent here versus changing up each time. Okay, sure thing. Thanks very much. Piers, Piers you're a superstar. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Great job today. Who's Cheers. next? How yeah, did how I, I do, like Brian? I don't want to make this about me, but how, how did I do? Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> you did amazing. Uh, we got our next uh, victim, I mean, guest on for today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Who are you? And a little bit of context around who do you serve? How do you serve them? And then we'll get right into uh, your, your session here. Oh, is that me or you? We don't have audio. I'm not hearing anything.
So I love all the comments that I'm seeing in the, okay. in the chat. Okay, can you hear me now? There. Perfect. Yes. Hi, Marian. Tadam. Hi. Uh, so I'm I'm Marian Siviak. I work in a small consultancy, Cognition Shared Solutions. Uh, we will be aiming uh, CEOs of uh, pretty big companies with a hundred to a billion. Uh, dollars uh, turnover uh, we are looking for guys who have problems and we we we, we used uh, some data science to check which companies are in deep uh yeah ugly substance so i will be calling them and trying to sell them our consultancy okay consulting so services and who is typically who is typically the target within the organization? CEO, CEO, uh, that's the two guys that we will be calling. Okay, so you're going straight to the top, trying yeah. to identify if they have big problems. Fantastic, thanks for setting the stage and appreciate your willingness to be a volunteer on the show. Uh, uh, so we'll get into it. I'll start uh, for the first session. We'll give you a little bit of feedback. Dave will go over the second one, same series. Uh, we'll get right into it. Hey, this is Ryan. Hi. It's a uh cold call would you like to hang out hang out now or would you give me 30 seconds uh i got 29. all right uh my name is dr shivak and i wonder if you have trouble translating your vision and direction into operational business processes hey or... this is ryan hi my name is dr marian shivak and it's a cold call would you like to hang out now or would you like to give me 30 seconds uh you got you got 30 seconds What's up okay doctor I what kind of doctor are you I'm a theoretical molecular biophysicist. I'm a data scientist. However, I'm calling um, about your operations, and I have a couple of questions to clear up if we can uh, find a match. So, my hey, questions... this is Ryan. Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Marian Shiviak, and it's a cold call. Would you like to hang out now, or would you like to give me 30 seconds? You got them. What's up, doctor? Uh, I have a couple of questions uh, to check if we can match our expertise with your problems. So my questions are, do you have trouble translating your vision and direction into operational business processes? Hello, or... this is Ryan. Hello, Ryan. My name is Dr. Marian Shiviak, and it's a cold call. Would you like to hang out now or would you like to give me 30 seconds? I've got, I've got a minute or two. You can get a little more than 30 seconds. What's up? How can I help? Uh, I'm trying to identify if our consultancy would be able to help you with your potential problems. If you would give me another 20 seconds, I would like to ask you a couple of questions about your uh, pain points and check if what we have would resonate with uh, what you experience. Hey, this is Ryan. Hello, Ryan. My name is Dr. Marian Shiviak and it's a cold call. Would you like to hang out now or would you give me 30 seconds? Uh, I, I can help. What's up? How can I help you? Hi, I'm contacting CEOs of companies with, uh, I would say, identified problems. We are a consultancy company and we have solutions for people who have trouble translating their vision into operational business processes. Uh, we try to help people know how to help people who lack the right, right framework. All right, let's, let's stop there. How'd that feel? Like shit. <laughs> like shit. Oh, well, I hate, uh, I hate, I hate cold calling. I, I, I take it personally. And uh, you're hanging out. I'm, you know, constantly thinking, you know, okay, am I through this stage or did I screw up? Should I keep it going? Should I change it? It's like doubt, 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 doubt. Great. Well, this exercise is meant to do that. What you did well is that you were consistent with your intro every single time fantastic you're already taking the feedback and that made it by the third or fourth time the first one was a little bit nervous second time it got a little bit better third fourth time it came out the you know it, it was it was you saying it that's that's the point right you want to be consistent and confident with your intro um whether or not you get past that um you'll be able to measure it now because you know you delivered that with consistency and confidence so great mm -hmm. job there now you're moving to the next thing where there's this fear uncertainty and doubt which is it's meant to be like this, right? We're, we're trying to rapid fire. Yeah, you. Like, cool. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. What am I supposed to say? So same thing here is I want to still have a consistent set of phraseology. What am I going to say when I get that permission? That okay. was very, that was varying each time. Like, Hey, I'm this, Hey, I'm that. Now I threw one or two little softballs at you or curveballs at you was like, Oh, you're a doctor. What is it? I'm trying to get you off. 
but and you you have to have the ability to transfer a little bit, pivot, bob and weave. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you also want to get back to that that talk track, right? So, oh, I'm a physicist. Mm -hmm. By the way, the reason for my call is, or however you're going to do that transition statement. So, um, do you have that written out? Is are you working off of a message because your intro is perfect, but the body, the the pitch. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, is working, not out? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I have let's say notes, and I'm I'm just shaping it right now. Yeah. Perfect. You, you That's why. I, perfectly. That's exactly why I love having a framework. Right, a script or a mm -hmm. framework. Each section is written out with the exact phraseology that I want to use. So as I get through this gate, sometimes there's bobbing and weaving, but I know where I'm mm -hmm. going back to. So because I get a little bit nervous, because I get kind of, I don't know where this is going to go. Maybe they say something that gets me off my rails. I know I can get right back to that section of my, my message. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend getting that written down. And right now you can practice something. You don't have it written down as Dave tries to get you past that intro, which is really good, right into that body. And we'll throw mm -hmm. he'll throw some he'll throw some curves ball at you, but see if you can get right back into that next phase of it, and then we'll bring on the next guest. Okay. Hey, and so just, you. yeah, just before we 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 kick in, when when you're designing this body, I just had one point. I, I noticed at one one stage you mentioned um, that you said the word pain points. I'm I'm looking to mm -hmm. hear about your pain points. My one of the biggest pieces of sure advice is like. You, I, I'm sure it's a mistake. So, so don't it, it came out of the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Just, just be. And for anybody here, right, and and um, especially newer SDRs that I have on my team, they do mm -hmm. it all the time. Using phraseology that's um, for that's like internal to us as salespeople. Like I try and avoid it at all costs, right? Because uh, it makes us, you know, we're we're trying to humanize ourselves as much as possible and associate with our prospect as opposed to kind of speaking sales. Baron, you know this already, um, and I could tell kind of it was just because Ryan threw you off so much um but yeah like just just a word of advice for anybody throwing me off because what i do is wrong or is it throwing you off just for the sake of throwing me off now i understand so i will try to be consistent throughout I, now you yeah, try to take me off uh, yeah, I think I think no matter what, even if it's the best in the world we're going to keep throwing you off so um you can take it that way um all right cool hi this is dave Hello, Dave. My name is Dr. Marian Siviak, and this is a cold call. Would you like to hang out now, or would you give me 30 seconds to explain my call? You got 30 seconds. Um, do you have trouble translating your vision and direction into operational business processes? Or do you think... Uh, my 30 seconds are not up. Do you think that your people lack the right frameworks to resolve their operational problems? Or are you tired of having to micromanage your teams through every crisis? If any of these questions resonated with you, uh, I would like to get another 30 seconds. If not, then there is no much. Hi, this is Dave. Hello, Dave. I'm Dr. Marian Siviak, and this is a cold call. Would you like to hang out now, or would you like to give me 30 seconds to explain my call? I'm uh, just running into a meeting right now, Marian. Maybe it's better to um, send me an email? Uh, okay, tell me what it's the email address I should use. Um, David.bentham at cognizant.com. All right. Expect my email. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, this is Dave. Hello, David. My name is Dr. Marian Siviak, and I'm calling you with a cold call. Would you like to hang out now, or would you like to give me 30 seconds to explain my call? Sure, I can give you 30 seconds. All right. I would like to ask you a couple of questions to understand if my offer is suitable for you. Uh, do you have trouble translating your vision and direction into operational business processes? Um, sometimes. OK. Or do you think that your people lack the proper framework to resolve operational problems? Yeah, maybe. OK. And are you tired of having to micromanage your teams through every crisis? Potentially. All right. So if it's the case, I would like to ask you uh, if I would be able to get rid of these problems, would you be inclined to give me 30 minutes and set up a meeting so I can explain how we do it? Hi, this is Dave. Hello, Dave. My name is Dr. Marian Siviak. It's a cold call. So would you like to hang out now or would you like to give me 30 seconds so I explain my call? Okay, you've literally only got 30 seconds. All right. Uh, can you tell me if you have troubles translating your vision and direction into operational business processes? Um, no. Um, it's something that like we 
we've been working on a lot and so I, I, it's not massive for us at the moment that's it great uh, do you think that your people have good framework to resolve operational problems um uh, it could always be better um all but... right would you like to mm, learn how we could make this better possibly if you would be interested would it be worth 15 minutes of your time sometime next week um i think i'd prefer to have some more context first the context is and we are out of 30 seconds so i'm not sure how much time i have so sorry for you know shortening it the concept is we are the consultancy company we work with fortune 500 companies we help them uh streamline their operations and we have methodology for that and i think it could be useful for you do you think we could have uh, a meeting uh, to discuss. All right, we'll, we'll stop here. How did that feel? Uh, much better. He was more thrown off than I was, I think. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Dave's more nervous than you. Uh, so th because you don't have this necessarily nailed yet, you might, I don't know if you're seeing the power of having the consistency of your uh, yeah, sections absolutely. written out. So you're able to measure. I like the fact that you're, you're you're starting with like a question to set a little bit of context as the reason, you know, you got your permission. That's what I'm saying. Hey, just to make sure this is relevant at all, boom, here's a relevant, like a, a, a I call this setting like relevancy. Um, Greg mm -hmm. Woodward calls this relevant, uh, what do you call it? Relevant context. I can't remember what he calls it, but it's great to set the stage around, hey, this is kind of the topic. Is there a pain or not? I would massage that a little bit so it's strong, right? Mm -hmm. And you're consistently delivering that. Um, what you did towards the end, which might be helpful, is before you ask that question, is say, hey, this is what we do at a very high level. Hey, we help people like this in this way. Mm -hmm. Question, you know, instead mm -hmm. of, so, so there's a little more context. Dave had already said, like, ah, maybe, I don't know, I'd like a little bit more context. If you mm -hmm. set that ahead of time and then ask the question, it's going to shake them into a little bit more relevancy. But uh, without having that consistently written out yet, that would be my next phase of recommendation here is just getting it knocked out. So you have this framework, um, but great job. And thanks for volunteering. Dave, do you have any other feedback for him before we bring in the next victim? I mean, guest for, yeah, um, I agree completely yeah. with Ryan. I, th I think, um, I think if you are, so I much prefer, um, making typically statements and then two pain points without stopping. Um, so that that way I'm much less likely to say one and then go, uh, no, I don't have that problem because then you're like on a, we call it like the yes trains and no trains right i want you know psychologically i want to be to be kind of keeping this positive um and uh, so yeah i know you were um after the first time you were kind of stopping in between um and waiting for a response on each so i shouldn't statement. i should just i, um, I should just I no. okay okay we, we, we personally, um, you know, at Cognizant, one of our best openers is, is around a typically and then two like um, pain points that are specific to the pro, like the persona that we're reaching out to. Um, and uh, that kind of gives them like an AB view. And then um, Sandler training, um, you know, uh, what a classic Sandler training is, um, you know, is this something that, that you resonate with or my or, or my million like miles away uh, away from mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that kind of you know because those pain points that we're, we're talking about are so common in our space um you know obviously nine times out of ten uh people are saying yeah at okay, least so one we're of not them. a million we're not a million miles away from from this one right so and that's where kind of but that's from you know as ryan said just repetition in terms of like what's working and what's not but really great job marion if you Thank want a good example much. of that, um, mm -hmm. Sand Sandler Training Utah and I do a live cold calling show um, once a week, actually on Wednesdays in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. But if you go yeah, sure. back and listen to one of those shows, um, I could send you a link if you connect with me on LinkedIn. Yeah, send yeah, you, a link yeah. you can mm -hmm. hear them deliver theirs and they do that. They, they, they set three point points and then they'll ask a question after that. So if you want to hear an example of what Dave's talking about, um, Hit me up. I'll send you a link to that after the show. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will ping you. Thank, thank, thanks thank for you volunteering. Very much. It was a pleasure. Yep. Thank you Bye for coming on. Next, who is our next victim? I mean, volunteer here. Who do we have? Dave, how do you like this so far? I know it's your first time in the ring. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I get it. You know, like I, I think. Um... Yeah, it just reminds me of my first um, sales job, right? Like you, we didn't really get given a script. We we're trying to work it out all the time. And it is that it's just repetition, the same point, working out where you're losing people. And um, my first job was a door to door job. I used to write down every door that I knocked and then the, the bit that I lost out at right on a piece of paper, I'd say, you know, this was the objection. And I'd go in, in the morning, I'd give it to my manager. I'd be like, look, I got this one, you know, 
I've also got this one 20 times. Clearly, it's a problem. How, how, like, you know, what's what would you expect is the best way to respond? So, yeah, I highly recommend it. I mean, fortunately, like the world that we live in now, so I imagine lots of people in tech have great tools that can do a lot of that dispositioning, um, of course, uh, for them. Um, but yeah, that's this is exactly um, what, what, what the audience should be doing. I know this guy as well. What's happening here? Yeah, I was gonna say, this is like speaking of consistency, Ryan, this is like number two <laughs> cognizant here. So, yeah. oh, we got another cog in the. <laughs> In the system. House. How, you, how are you how are you getting snuck in here so we got a call we don't have to set we don't have to set context <laughs> in with you brad um we'll get right into it let's see how yeah, you yeah. do hopefully we're listening to the last two and uh well, gives you a little bit of advantage a little bit of I advantage was, here. it's meant to be lucky number three but you know who knows let's see you <laughs> we'll see how it goes uh hey this is ryan Ryan, hey, you're going to absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold call. I don't know if you want to hang up now, give me 30 seconds and then decide. Uh, you got 30 seconds. What's up? Yeah, well, typically, Ryan, when I speak to you know sales leaders, they tell me they're, they're frustrated, right? They say they've given all this tech, the training to their team. They're just not speaking to as many people as they could be. You know, they, they say one of three things when I'm chatting to them. It's normally something like, you know, they, they don't know who to speak to in these companies. Maybe that's fine. You know exactly who you want to reach. You just Hey, this is Ryan. Ryan, hey, you're going to kill me. This is actually a cold call. I don't know if you want to hang up or give me a oh. and then decide. Oh, oh my God. Cold call. Wait, wait. I heard that side. I hate cold calls. What Third do you want, day. man? Third of the day. Why do you hate cold calls so much? You had a bad experience. Hey, this is Ryan. Ryan, hey, this is actually a cold call. You're going to absolutely hate me. I don't know if you want to give me 30 seconds or hang up now. Uh, you have 25. You're on the clock. 25? Okay, I better start my timer. I mean, typically, I'll get into it quickly. You know, I, I speak to sales leaders. They tell me they're frustrated. You know, they've given their reps the training. They've got tech tools, everything they need. Hey, this is Ryan. Ryan, hey, you're going to absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold hey, call. Hey, Sage, shh, shh. I'm on a call. What's up? Sorry, go ahead. No, that's fine. Who was that in the background? Hey, this Come is on. Ryan. We'll bring the... Ryan, hey, you're going to absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold call. I don't know if you want to hang up now. Give me 30 seconds and then decide. Uh, you got 30 seconds. What's up? 30 se I mean, typically when I speak to, you know, sales leaders, they tell me they're frustrated. They've got tech training tools. They've got everything. But they're just not speaking to as many decision makers as they could be. So it could be, you know, one of three uh, things. All right, let's they stop. Can... <laughs> How's it feel? It felt okay. I think if I had been in Piers' situation, been the first one, I would have been a lot more nervous. But I've been listening to you guys. Felt good though. Felt good. Good exercise. Awesome. Great job on the consistency. Obviously, you listened to the point here. Um, yeah. The point of being consistent is you're going to get that confidence built up. The consistency and co consistency and confidence, in my opinion, which you can take it or leave it, is is the most important thing to get started. Right. It's the hardest thing to do in the cold call is to get everyone focuses on the intro, but it's not about what you say. It's about how you're delivering it more than anything else. And if the words are wrong, but you're confident, then you can make the adjustments. So great job there. You stayed consistent. What I also loved is with the curveballs, you're not just like a robot going right into the typically thing. You're you're listening and having situational awareness. When I have like the kids in the background, you're, you're acknowledging it. You're not just bypassing like, oh, is everything OK over there? You know, and. <laughs> You, you have a personality. You're somebody that I would want to engage if I'm if I'm not super annoyed. Even the annoyed guy, you did a good job of kind of like, oh, man, someone, you know, it was, it was really good. So personable and consistent. It's clear that you're confident. So great job there. That's my section. I'll let Dave give a little bit of feedback and then allow you to get deeper into the next section here um, where he can see how you're, you're uh, moving into the uh, pitch portion of the, of the framework. Great job. Yeah, so for sure. So, so, so Brad's my guy. So I'm obviously very biased on this and and um, his ability to call. First things first. If, if you don't know already, Brad broke his ankle on Saturday. So if we could get some like you know get all soon, Brad's in the chat. Like I think that'll be appreciated. Um, in terms of my feedback, there are, I'm, I'm looking at the chat right now, and lots of people are saying, ah, oh, you know, like um, it's really dangerous to say um, you can hang up right now. I think you've really got to think about your persona. Um, Cognizant, you know, Brad is, is calling salespeople every day, salespeople that have running teams of people that cold call every day. So that kind of um, opening line is, is quite usually quite powerful for us because of the fact, because of the persona that we're calling. Um, and yeah, but this is, you know, goes back to, to, to kind of like why we're doing this today. We, you've got, you can try different openers on your personas and really see what works, right? And as, if you're doing, if you try the, consistently the same opener, you know, a hundred times and it's, you can you can like note down how how many 
times it's working, how many times it's not, and then do a different opener another hundred times and, and see if it's working or not. And that's that's kind of like you know what we've done to, to get to this. So so maybe that context just just to kind of like help everybody um, in terms of um, seeing that. Um, uh, you know, seeing why we're, we're doing it in the way that we're doing it. Um, but Brad, you're a superstar. Obviously, I can't criticize you at all. You're, you're, per, you're the perfect SDR. Um, uh, but let's well, should we dive into it. Activity needs work, but... No. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, we, I won't tell everybody about that. Okay. Um, all right. Hi, this is Dave. Dave, hey, you're going to absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold call. I don't know if you want to hang up now. Give me 30 seconds and then decide. Uh, have you got my number? Well, I mean, that's actually why I was calling you. Does that mean you're going to give me 30 seconds to explain or do you want to just put the phone down? Well, yeah, I need to know how you got my number. Well, I mean, first off, I normally speak to salespeople. You know, they're telling me they're frustrated, you know, and it's normally for Hi, one this of... this is Dave. Dave, hey, you're going to absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold call. Do you want to hang up now? Give me 30 seconds and then decide. Love cold callers. Give me... You Love... Know, oh, that's a hit me with your best one. On. Okay, okay. As long as you promise to be brutal. I mean, typically when I speak to, you know leaders like yourself dave they tell me one of three things you know they're they're either they're frustrated they, they've given their team the tech the training the tools but they're just not speaking to as many decision makers as they could be could be you know they don't know who can, to speak sorry to. brad can we, can we can we speed this up I'm, I'm just running into a meeting i thought you loved cold calls dave don't give me a hard time i do you? i do i do but you know like i'm so sorry like i've, I've got this webinar i'm like already running late for it so I'm i need to get involved. okay well I could jump into my pitch and, and go double time here, but I'm not gonna. It's not gonna give me a fair chance. Do you want me to? Hi, hi this is Dave. Dave, hey, you're gonna absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold call. And if you want to hang up now, give me thirty seconds and then decide. Sure, you've got thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. So, I mean, typically, Dave, when I speak to sales leaders, you know, they tell me they're frustrated. They've given their team the tech. They've got tools. They've got training, but you know, they're just not speaking to as many decision makers as they could be. Could be one of three things. I don't know who to speak to. You know, they're, they're coming. You um, sorry, just are you a lead generation tool? We're not a lead. Why? Why are you looking for a lead generation tool? Uh, we've already got one in place. You've already got one in place. Well, luckily, we're not a lead generation tool. If I said that I could help your team speak to more people, and you know, you handle what to say, we make sure you can say it. Would you? Would you put the phone down? Uh, and the phone hi, this is Dave. Dave, hey, you're going to absolutely hate me. This is actually a cold call. And if you want to hang up now, give me thirty seconds and then decide um yeah like i mean i'm really busy so 10 seconds 10 seconds i mean if someone said tell me what you do in 10 seconds could you do it <laughs> uh, sometimes <laughs> sometimes i don't think i can do it in 10 seconds i'm clearly not as gifted as you how about 30 and if you don't like what i have to say you can put the phone down is that fair all right you, you answer me on 30 sure. right, i mean we'll stop here brad incredible work man uh it's clear that you have the confidence uh and the consistency here to to do these things right um, I'm loving the, uh, con the commitment to your talk track, right? So what you're doing well is Dave's throwing curveballs at you is you're committing to the fact that you want to get certain phraseology out before you move forward. That's incredible. Like that's discipline. That's, that's confidence and discipline in your approach, which is, which is really important. Um, one thing to think about, I was going to time it and he threw a curveball in there too, is you're going to use the 30 second thing and you're gonna to commit to speeding up, or not speeding up, is to make sure that whatever your three statements are, because we didn't get through the whole thing, but whatever they are, you can get out in 30 seconds. Yeah. You're gonna to commit to, if you ask for 30 seconds, and then if someone throws you and you can get it out in 30 seconds, you're there. It's it's really it's really what you're asking for, and it's what you're going to deliver. So I don't I didn't I didn't get there exactly. It may or may not get there. It sounded like you might be able to get there, but just test that, time it, and know that you're 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 actually committing you're committing to what you committed to because you're 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 actually challenging back to commit to that. So great work on that. Um, maybe yeah. Yeah, Brad, I actually, um, you know, um, I've heard some of your calls before. I uh, one thing that I used to do is when people were clearly in a rush. Um, I, I suppose one thing you do so well is you enunciate so clearly um, on the phone um, and you slow down your voice, which a lot of people don't do, right? They, they start rushing every single time. I think one thing you could do is just in terms of a small adaptation is when they say, say they're in a rush, um, sometimes slowing down a lot then immediately is kind of almost doesn't feel like you're, you're um, being as receptive in terms of the fact that they've told you that they're in a rush. And I think um, the easiest psychological um, thing in the book is like, is speeding up your voice a little bit at the start and slowing it down naturally because you obviously want to, to kind of, you know, make sure that they're understanding what you're saying again but it's just going to mean that you're going to get into more conversations because it's so important to obviously you know um show that you're taking into consideration exactly
what the, the prospect's saying. But um, Brad and Piers earlier, like both superstar SDRs for Cognizant. And um, yeah, I hope everybody can see why. Great Thanks, work, man. Brad. Uh, we're going to bring on the next guest so we can keep coming through. I think we had a big line today. So uh, nice work. That was awesome. Richard, welcome Hello. to the house. Can you hear me? Is it a house? Yeah, you're in. You're live. Awesome. Hey. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Where are you calling in from? Working. This is working. Uh, Chicago. Chicago. Chi Town. Chicago. All right. Um, so for the audience, set the context. Uh, who's Richard? Who do you serve? How do you serve them? And we'll get right into your uh, your, your section here. Absolutely. Uh, we, I'm with Linux. We serve uh, fleets. Um, for any company that has a large fleet offering uh, video telematics and all one system. Uh, yeah. Fleet as in like, uh, vehicles, vehicles. Okay. Fleet vehicles, large, 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 uh, fleets of vehicles. Okay. So like delivery trucks, things like that. Uh, yep. that's, that, that's a good client. And then who within an organization, uh, do you typically reach out to when you're cold calling? Uh, fleet manager, safety manager, uh, operations. Um, sometimes, it can be anywhere from HR to uh, IT. Wow. All right. So it spins the gamut. For today's exercise, who, which was pick one of those? Who are we, who are we targeting? Just set some context. Uh, fleet manager. Based on your message. What's that? Fleet manager. Fleet manager. All right. Sounds great. Um, uh, you've probably paid attention to the first few. Hopefully you were paying attention. Let's get right into it. Uh, I'll go first. Actually, let's swap it out here. Dave, you go first this time. I, I don't know how you do this so much, Ryan. I'm trying to think of like new rebuttals. It's it's difficult. All right. So if any, any anybody has any rebuttals they want they want me to go for, then definitely throw them in the chat as well. Um, hi, this is Dave. Hey, Dave. This is Richard. Give me a call from Linux. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. Great, great. Hey, I'm reaching out in regards to the safety of your fleet. Do you have a minute to chat? Sure. Hit me. Awesome, awesome. I'm hoping to learn a little bit more about the way you guys are currently keeping up with the drivers to ensure they're adhering to your safety policies. I uh, just wondering what type, type of technologies you're currently using in the fleet. Hi, this is Dave. Hey, Dave. This is Richard giving a call from Linux. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, fine. Good, good. Hey, I'm reaching out in regards to the safety of your fleet. Um, we provide an all-in-one dash cam system that gives you the ability to monitor driver behaviors as well as the prevention and full understanding of what happens in the case of an accident. I'm wondering what are you currently using in your fleet? Sorry, um, is this a call call? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, um, hi, this is Dave. Hey, Dave. This is Richard. I'm giving you a call from Linux. How you doing? Not bad, Richard. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, thanks for asking. Uh, I'm actually reaching out in regards to the safety of your fleet. I was hoping you had a minute to chat. Um, I could, uh, running into a meeting, Richard, but um, I can give you like 20 seconds. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, we provide an all-in-one dash cam system that gives you the ability to monitor driver behaviors as well as prevention and full understanding of what happens in the case of an accident. Uh, have you guys had any issues as far as fleet safety goes? Hi, this is Dave. Hey, Dave. This is Richard. I'm giving you a call from Linux. How are you doing? Yeah, good. I've just got the dog barking. I'm not going to bark. Uh, just oh. use two sets, two sets. All right. Um, hey, this is Dave. Hey, Dave. This is Richard. I'm giving you a call from Linux. How are you doing today? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Good, good. Hey, uh, so just real quick, uh, context is a cold call. I'm reaching out in regards to the safety of your fleet. Uh, do you have a minute to chat about that? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Awesome, right. awesome. Us here? Uh, How did I feel? Good. Uh, you know, this is quick, quick, rapid succession, so it's a bit, uh, a bit hard to gauge it, but yeah, it feels good. Dave, what do you think? Your feedback first. Yeah, so there's one main point that I live and die by. So I love, I'm in how are you, how are you opener every single time. Um, I really really like it. But the reason the, the reason the how are you um, opener is so effective for me is on the so mo most people will just say good, but on the odd occasion when they say how are you back, that's the first opportunity to, for me to humanize myself as a salesperson. I can almost guarantee that if they're saying how are you back, they're not in a rush and they're ready for a conversation, and I'm going to take full advantage of that. Right? I'm not saying it's going to work every single time, but like I'm going to tell them exactly how I am. Right? Like you know, I'm in. I'm sitting in sunny London, 30 degrees. It's never been this. It's been um, uh, 90 Fahrenheit. Um, it never ever is like this. I'm giving them the full story just to humanize myself and build that rapport. That's going to give me the opportunity to to have like a much uh, like a platform to build a much uh, better uh, conversation. So yeah, if you're a how are you opener, um, do it, but do it with conviction. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you're using it to to build rapport. That'd be my 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 number one comment. 
Awesome. Thank you. I loved the consistency. So clearly, I don't know if that's how you always do it because you're doing the whole, if it's how you, is that how you always do it? Or did you learn from uh, what we talked about earlier? Generally, I, I go with the same thing. Uh, it's just easier to remember that way. I'm not tripping up over my words. Exactly. Consistency and confidence. So that's great. Um, and what I also love is that you're, you're, you're moving into the next, what we do with a nice, short, concise, this is what we do with a question. So, so really good job there. Uh, let's get you back into there. I'll rapid fire a few and, and see if we can get deeper into the conversation and uh, we'll bring on our next, uh, right after that. I think we have uh, enough for probably two more if you're in the backstage. So uh, we'll try to get through at least two more after this, Richard. So, Hey, this is Ryan. Hey, Ryan, this is Richard giving me a call from Linux. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Richard? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Weather here in Chicago is good. And, uh, you know, if it's not the winter, uh, I'm, I'm living it up. Chicago is cold in the winter, man. And, yeah, now I can get negative 20. So, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the summer months while I can. Coldest um, place I've ever been in the planet, man. It's hey, cold. Speaking of cold, uh, this is actually a cold call I'm giving you. Uh, so I'm kind of hey, hoping that Ryan. Can... Hey, Ryan, this is Richard. I'm giving you a call from Linux. How are you doing today? Oh, my God. This is a cold call. Yeah, I'm for, it is, but I think that this might be something you might be interested in. Can I have a minute of your time? You got a minute, man. What's up? Okay. So just to make it quick for you, we provide an all-in-one dash cam system that gives you the ability to monitor driver behaviors as well as the prevention and full understanding of what happened in the case of an accident. I'm hoping to get an idea. Hey, this is Ryan. Hey, Ryan. This is Richard. I'm giving you a call from Linux. How are you doing today? Richard? Linux? Do I know you? Uh, no, this is actually a cold call. I'm hoping that I can talk to you for a minute. Uh, are you available? No, man. Take me off your list. Uh, well, you always, I get, I always hey, get this is Ryan. Hey, Ryan, this is Richard giving you a call from Linux. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How you been? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, man. I, I meant to give you a call back, Richard. Um, I'm so sorry. I, I, uh, I haven't gotten back to you. Oh, awesome. So you got my email in regards to uh, the fleet technology then. Uh, do you have a chance to look uh, over the fleet, video? Fleet technology? No. What? Is this is this Richard yeah, Smith? Uh, uh, no, this is Richard Ambrose. I uh, sent you an email uh, oh. with some information. Um, I'm just following up to see if you had a chance to look that over and get your thoughts. No, oh, no. I, I, dude, I, if you're, this is a sales call, what do, what do you want, man? Uh, hey, if I can have 30 seconds, I'll just give you the elevator pitch. If it's not something you're interested in, I can move on. You can move on. Uh, we provide an all-in-one dash cam system that gives you the ability to monitor driver behavior. Hey, this is Ryan. Hey, Ryan, this is Richard giving me a call from Linux. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How you been, man? I'm, hey, I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. Hey, so I'll, I'll be straight with you. This is a cold call. I'm hoping to have sure. about a minute of your time. Just give you an idea of what we do. And if it's something you're interested in, uh, that's great. We can chat a little bit more. I Sound always good? give people a chance. Yep. Give me, give me, what do you got? What do you got? Awesome. Hey, so we provide an all-in-one dash cam system that gives you the ability to monitor driver behaviors as well as the prevention and full understanding of what happened in an accident. I'm just trying to get an idea what happened uh, last right. time you guys had a wreck. Right, let's stop. Richard, great job with your, oh, again, you're very consistent and there's confidence there. You also listen to Dave's feedback right away with uh, 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 building some rapport. Um, in that note, your transition point there's, there's a tendency, I'm feeling this tendency of you wanting to run your agenda. So even in that where I'm still talking, I'm talking, don't rush it. Speaking of, you can just keep going. Right? If you have a person who wants to talk, let them talk. At some point, they're probably going to be like, okay, so what's up? Wait for that, right? The, like, you don't need to rush. What are you, what are you, what are you in a hurry for? The whole point of the cold call is to get into a conversation, right? And, and so, yeah. so don't rush it. And speaking of the rushing, you can hear that in your pitch once you get past that opener try to slow down a little bit it's going to feel a little bit awkward but almost try to talk at half pace you're pretty fast you're pretty fast i have that problem too you can probably hear how excited i am in these sessions i gotta go another but when i cold call if you listen to me cold calling i'm very slow very deliberate and i have to i work on that it almost for me it feels really weird but when i listen to my recordings it almost sounds normal um but it feels weird. And I think you and I are similar in that way because we, we get excited and we like to talk. So um, to keep that in mind, right? The goal of this is a conversation. If you're in the conversation, have the conversation. Um, one, and then two, slow down a little bit once you get once you get that permission. There's no need to rush it, right? Uh, the faster you are, I can't hear some of the words. Um, so if I can't hear what you're saying, which it's a cold call, I'm already on defense, I'm gonna have a hard time getting getting through to a completion. So Dave, any feedback? 
No, I, I agree completely, Ryan. Like the, yeah, when you get into it, it's really fast. And I think what it does, again, like I talked about hu humanizing, it doesn't make the prospect feel special or like, you know, it just feels like another person on the list, right? And that's what we really want to try and avoid um, is is kind of, you know, we want to feel the prospect to feel like like we're calling them they are the people that we're calling that's why kind of you know if you if you find something um a little bit of personalization that you can throw in there to to you know obviously we, we talked about consistently but if there's a bit of personalization that can help um then that's going to make them feel you know special and like we've called them for a reason so um but you know generally like uh, agree i would definitely agree ryan like slowing it down is, is is the first step perfect absolutely thanks for thanks for tuning in uh being a victim, I mean, a guest here. Uh, it's not easy to do this in front of people. Great work, uh, Richard. I, I'm, I'm excited to see how things go. Keep us posted on any results uh, from the session. Great job. Thank you. Uh, so we probably have only time for one more now. Uh, I was getting a little ambitious last time. So if you are on the wait list uh, uh, and you want to come back for the next show, uh, make sure to email ashley.frank at cognizant.com. We'll get you back on the wait, uh, in for the next show. We'll get you into the, uh, the hopper. Uh, so that we can give you feedback live here. Um, hopefully, you're all getting some value from the show. We'll have time for one more. But again, if you're interested, uh, you weren't on the list or are in the wait list now, make sure to hit up Ashley so you get in for the next show. Uh, we have time for one more real quick, I think, Dave. Uh, yeah, have... Ryan, just as they join, there's a question in the comments I'm interested to hear your view on. If someone says, like, you know, take me off the list, is there any kind of objection that you've you found objection handled to that you found um, super, super uh, effective as, as we've just got Fernando join? But yeah, is there anything that's worked for you in the past there? So it, it depends on where that's coming in, right? So if someone says, take me off your list, like before I even say hello, uh, there's not much you can say there. Um, and to be honest, I might... I might just uh, say, um, uh, take your, you know, I might, I might repeat it, uh, see if they respond at all. A lot of times they just say, take me off the list, hang up. I'm not, I might, I'm going to call back in a couple of weeks, just try one more time, right? If it's later in the call and you've gotten past hello, they know who you are and like, dude, take me off your list, then I'm going to respect that. There's not much you can do there, right? So it depends on the context of where it's coming in. Yeah, it really does. I think I think I think for me these these um, incredibly um, you know hard uh, I call them emotional objections at the start of the call. Um, you know, generally speaking, I j you've got to agree with them. So like you know, if they're like, look, I'm not interested, I've got to agree with them. But I try and turn them into a rational objection. So um, and and throw them off by saying, yep, totally okay with me. Um, can I just ask a reason why, just for my own feedback? And, you know, that kind of means it gives us, it's a bit of a Hail Mary, but, you know, I'd say every two in 10 times, they kind of say like, oh, well, okay, what are you calling about, right? And it at least gives me a, a new opportunity. So um, that's something that, that kind of done for the, the super, super hard, hard objections at, at the start. Certainly not a silver bullet, but something that, um, you know, has got me into a couple more ex extra conversations. I love that. If you can turn it around live. So uh, we've got seven minutes before the show's over. Fernando, you're in the hot seat. Hello. Uh, hi. Welcome to the show. Can you Thank introduce you. yourself and set some context on who do you serve, how do you serve them? We'll get right into your session today. Yeah, sure. So my name is Fernando. I'm calling from a company called UK Engage. Uh, so essentially what we do, we're electoral consultants. Uh, our target markets are membership organizations and professional bodies. Um, the way these organizations are run is they have members who are elected to board councils and committees. So they have to go through an election process. And essentially what we do is offer the voting solution for that process. Okay. And who is the target? The so to, yeah, so it would be a governance manager or the chief executive. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty niche. Um, I'm excited to see how this goes. Hey, this is Ryan. <laughs> Uh, hello, Ryan. Uh, my name is Fernando. I'm calling from a company called UK Engage. How are you, do how are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Very well. Thanks for asking, uh, Ryan. Uh, very quick call. Won't take too much of your time. Uh, we administer the board, council, and committee elections. And I was hey, this to is have Ryan. A... Uh, hi, Ryan. Uh, my name is Fernando. I'm calling from UK Engage. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. What's up, man? Um, no, not much. Uh, just a very quick call, really. Won't take too much of your time. Um, I'm calling from a company called UK Engage. We administer board council and committee hey, elections. Hey, this is Ryan. Uh, hi, Ryan. Hey, uh, my quiet. Name is... hey, I got, I got hi, Ryan. My name is uh, Fernando from UK Engage. How are you today? Uh, just a little bit. Sorry. Hey, quiet. Sorry. What was your name? Uh, my name is Fernando from UK Engage. Uh, okay, Fernando, I know you. 
Uh, no, uh, but I got a lock one on, man. What's up? Well, <laughs> just a quick call. Won't take too much of your time, Ryan. I can see you're busy there. Um, hey, hey, this is Ryan. Podcast. Hey, Ryan. How are you today? Uh, my name is Fernando from UK Engage. Uh, Fernando, you, do I know you? Was I expecting a call? Uh, no, but I think this will be a great opportunity for you to to know me and what what we can offer. Just a quick call won't take too much of your time. We administer board council and committee elections. I was hoping to have an understanding of how you undertake that process within your organization. Have a chat. All right, let's stop. That. We'll stop here. How'd that feel? Uh, th yeah, it threw, threw me off a little bit. But uh, overall, I don't think it went that bad. I don't think. I don't know. No, it's great. I mean, look, the whole point of the first part of this is to make sure that you're entering consistently and with confidence, which you nailed, you know. With a couple of the harder ones, you you're going uh, across. Uh, you're you're able to maintain your presence. Uh, you're not getting rattled, and you're moving into the next phase, which is exactly what you want to do. Oh, brilliant! Like okay. the last the last feedback that um, Dave gave, though, and I'll let him provide that right, which is like, hey, if you're going to use the how are you, uh, take it a little bit to the uh, say, hey, I'm doing well. How are you? You're you're kind of brushing it off a little bit. I'm doing well, thanks. By the way, bam. So it's like your agenda is so focused on now 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 remember the point right. of the call yeah. is to have a conversation so have gotcha. a conversation yes. right yeah we forget yeah. about that this is a human to human conversation so uh, yeah. our agenda in our mind you might think oh it's a cold call they need to hear me that's not true right they're a human mm -hmm. and they're giving you time so take the time and if you can if you can take that signal of oh there's some someone who wants to talk then talk uh, dave uh, yeah. any, any feedback on your side yeah um, i mean that's, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you heard um, you heard my points on how the how you open this before, but um, I, I just saw a comment uh, from James saying, um, you know, saying that how you seems a bit um, sales cally. Um, I, I think it depends on how you're saying it genuinely. I think people can hear in your tone whether you're like genuinely interested in how someone is or not, right? And so, like from um, my perspective, I think one of the, one of the things that um, you know I've been traditional, like I've been good at as a salesperson is, or what salespeople really need to focus on is having genuine curiosity in the prospects that they're speaking to. Um, mm -hmm. every time. And that's hard because day to day you're just making you know you're just like dialing, 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 dialing. Uh, yeah. But you got to keep step back and just being like i'm so curious you know i look at their linkedin profile just before i make the call and like mm -hmm. i'm so curious i'll like, build a story in my mind about what they might be like and then like i'm curious to 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 um see what they are like so um yeah just just on that point but um yeah if you're gonna use the how are you openers double down on it if they can give it um if they give it back to you yeah to so be honest normally i do it. it's only because it's the first time i'm doing this type of uh role play in a, in a real situation uh they uh, more often than not they do ask Oh, how are you? Uh, I do ask, how are you back? And then I do get into a conversation with them, actually. It's only because here I'm, I'm more nervous than an actual cold call. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the way. It's always yeah, yeah. the way. That's great. Mm -hmm. Dave, you want to you run through? we got two more minutes left. Uh, just a couple more uh, scenarios here, Fernando. And then uh, we'll be wrapping up the session today. Again, thank you so much if we run out of time, uh, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, if you're interested, email ashley.frank uh, at cognizant.com for the next show. David, let's get one more awesome. or a couple more, a couple more in here for Fernando, and we'll wrap. The yeah, hi this, hi, this is Dave. Uh, hi, Dave. My name is Fernando. I'm calling from UK Engage. How are you today? Yeah, not bad. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for asking, um, David. Uh, just a quick call. I won't take too much of your time. Uh, we administer board council committee elections. I was hoping to have an understanding hi, of how you Dave. Hi, Dave. My name is Fernando. I'm calling from UK Engage. How are you today? Yeah. Um, sorry, who is this? Um, my name is Fernando. I'm calling from a company called UK Engage. Okay. Have I heard of you? Um, no, but I think this will be a good opportunity for you to know us. So it's just a quick call. Won't take too much of your time. I was just hoping to have an understanding how you undertake your Hi, board election. Dave. Um, hello, Dave. My name is Fernando. I'm calling from UK Engage. How are you today? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I've heard of you before. How did, how did you get my number? Um, online. I found you online. Okay. So the reason for my call was I came across your website. I see that you undertake board and council and committee elections. And the reason for my call was just to see whether uh, or not I could uh, introduce the solutions that we offer as a comparison to your current supplier there to run your elections. Hi, this is Dave. Hi, Dave. My name is Fernando. I'm calling from UK Engage. How are you today? Good. Yeah, not bad. You? 
Good, yeah. Very, oh, very well. Thanks for asking, Dave. Um, not too bad at all. Um, just a quick call. Won't take too much of your time. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll stop there. Uh, we got 30 seconds left. Fernando, thanks again for uh, being a volunteer here. I'm going to give you my last letter of feedback. Again, consistency, confidence. You've nailed that piece. Um, right, thank you. And again, it might it might be the exercise a little bit. There's two opportunities there to go a little bit further in the, you know, how are you? And okay, yep. you're, going right, you're going right back to your agenda. So just something yes. to learn. Just something to take away of, of the conversations, but uh, I think we're I think we just ended the show. So you're live. Uh, I don't know if we're on the stage or not, but uh, Dave, um, any feedback, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. Thank you so much again, Fernando. No, that, thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, Fernando, I think um, one little thing: your the pace at which you speak is fantastic. It's really really good, and the tone that you have when you get into that pitch. So um, just to, you know, to end this on a positive. Um, keep uh -huh. that up because it's um it's it's really really fa really easy to listen to you and understand what you're saying. So um yeah, great job there. Oh no, that's brilliant. Well, thank you guys uh, for the opportunity. That was really good feedback and appreciate. It. It's really helpful as well. Thank you. Awesome. All the best. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye.